Hello learners my name is Simran from team cloud ml and i welcome you all back to our youtube channel today we are going to see a sql interview question asked by the company meta so let's begin okay so before moving ahead with the main question let's solve a small quiz question so the question is how can we view all the triggers currently in the database and uh, the four options are given show view read and none of the above so if you know the answer to this question you can put it down in the comment section or else you can also watch the video uh, at the end we will be discussing the answer so this is the question the interview question that was asked by the company meta so let's re re let's read it Assume you have an events table on App Analytics. Write a query to get the click-through rate percentage, which is the CTR percentage per app in 2022. Output the results in percentage rounded to two decimal places. So the question is that <clears throat> it is related to App Analytics. Uh, what is App Analytics? That is uh, taking insights of the app. okay it's users it's customers and the functioning of the app so we have been given an events table that is related to app analytics and we need to write down a query to get the click through rate percentage per app in 2022 per app means for each app okay and for the year 2022 so what exactly is click through rate percentage let's see that but before that Uh, first let's see a sample input and a sample output as well so this is the sample input wherein we have uh, three columns the app id the event type and the event date okay and here you have two event types as you can see and two app ids the event type first is impression and click okay and these are the event dates and let's see the sample output so you can see for each app id as we know in our table we have two app ids 1 2 3 and 2 3 4 so for each of the two app ids we have found out the ctr rounded to two decimal places okay the first value is 50% and the second is 100% so let's see exactly what is ctr so in app analytics ctr is a term which is click through uh, rate which means that Uh, you all know that uh, certain apps i advertise themselves okay by presenting their advertisement in other websites so whenever you visit certain website you have an app advertise this is an uh, advertise and when you click on this okay when you click on this ad you get redirected to the app page correct suppose this is a advertisement of meta when you click on this you will be redirected to the meta home page correct so this is the meaning of impression okay whatever this advertisement is this is impression and the event click the event click is nothing but the click event so what is ctr ctr is nothing but the number of times click has been performed divided upon the impression okay into 100 this will give you the ctr percentage which is the click through rate in simple terms it only means that uh, how many times the user has clicked on the impression okay this is the simple meaning that how, among all the clicks how much percentage of users have clicked on the impression so this is click number of clicks upon number of impressions into 100 so this was the basic understanding of what is click through rate okay so let's start with solving this uh, question you must already have got a idea of what functions or what uh, queries you are going to use first of all you will be using the round function because you need to round the value to two decimal places next you have got an idea that per app means you're going to use the group by on the app id 
Next that you want the values for only 2022 and you can see that in the sample input you have these many dates okay. So you also have to put a restriction on the year okay. Where the, so for this you are going to use the where function. Next uh, you have I already told you about the CTR formula correct. So simply you will be applying this formula to find out the value. But how do you get uh, the the count of CTR, the count of click and impression. See what you can do. We can use the case when uh, function in this case. Okay. Whenever you have the event as click, you will simply uh, give the value as 1. If the impression is else, you will give as 0. Same you will do for impression. If the value is impression, the value will be 1. And then you can take the individual sum of both the values and then we can divide it to find out the percentage. Okay, so now let's uh, solve this question in MySQL workbench. So this is my workbench and first let's create the database. The database. So let's give the name as a uh, and use it. the database has been created now we have to create the sample table so for that i have these queries you can also use your own data Let's run. The table has been created. Let's view the table using select. Select star from events. Okay, so our table has been created. We have five records into it. Three records are for the app ID 1, 2, 3 and two records are present for the app ID 2, 3, 4. Now let's uh, write down the query. So first as I told we will be selecting the app ID because we want the value for each app ID. Correct? So let's first write down the app ID. Next we will be round. We have to round the value to two decimals. Correct? So first let's round. And in this first, let's pass the 100 value. Why 100 value? Because uh, you know that we, we want the percentage, correct? So whenever we want to find percentage of something, we need to, uh, we need to divide first and then we need to multiply it by 100 so that we get the percentage, correct? So here also we are finding the percentage. Next, sum. And now we will be applying the case when function as I mentioned already. So when the event type is equal to click, then the value will be 1, else 0, okay. End this, close and then we are going to divide, okay, according to our formula that we want to divide the count of clicks and the count of impression. So similarly for impression also apply the case when case when event type equal to impression then 1 else 0 end okay end the uh, end the function for impression and then put 2. This 2 is is from the round function. Okay, because we want to round the value to two decimals, correct? So that is why we have put in two, uh, two inside the bracket as CTR, which is the column name from events, the table name, right? Now we have to apply uh, the where function, where for the event date, correct? Because we want only the dates where the year is to, uh, 2022. Okay, so now event date is greater than less 
greater than or less than or equal to 2022. Okay, which means it should be greater than 1st January 2022 and it should be less than it should be less than 2023. Okay, this will mean that it will include all the dates between 2022 and 2023. Group by group by the app ID. Correct. Let's run this first and check the output. So you see we have got the output as expected from our sample output. Okay, so I'll explain the code again. Okay, what we have done is we simply extract the app ID. Okay, we apply the group by on app ID because we want the data. We want the CTR for each app ID. Next, we apply the round function because we want to round our final value to two decimal places. That is why here we have mentioned two. Next, we apply the sum and case when to the click value, okay, to event type, okay, because we want to divide, as I have mentioned in the formula, that we want to divide click, the number of clicks with the number of impressions and we multiply it by 100. So this is the 100, okay, that we multiply and then this is sum. If the click, if the event type is click, then it will put the value as 1. If it is not click, then 0. Similarly, then it will divide this sum by another sum which will be that when the event type is impression, then it will give the value as 1. Else it will give the value as 0. Okay. Next, we, we have mentioned the alias for the result which is CTR. This is the CTR. And then we have mentioned the table name and the condition for the date and finally group by app ID. Okay, so I hope you've understood this case when part. Okay, we have just, uh, we just check the event type and accordingly we set the value and at the end we have found out the sum. See how it will execute. Suppose, see in our table, Okay, this is our table. We have two times. Click is present two times, correct? So here, the value of this sum will be nothing but two. Okay, and the impression. Impression is present three times. So the value of this entire sum will be three. Whenever it sees, whenever in the table it will see this condition, then it will set the value to one. So this condition will be matched three times because the event type is three times impression correct so that is why the sum value will be three then it will divide when you divide two by three you get the value as 0.5 and when you multiply 0.5 with 100 the value is 50 which is our output similarly uh, for two two three four okay for two three four as well a uh, similar case will take place see here for two three four you can see impression is present one time Click is also present one time. So it will divide 1 upon 1. Okay, 1 upon 1 is 1, and 1 into 100 will be 100. And for 1, 2, 3, see, this is for 1, 2, 3. Click is present one time. Impression is present two times. So 1 divided by 2 will be 0.5. See, I'll explain this to you. <coughs> Let me clear this. So for 1, 2, 3, okay, for app ID 1, 2, 3, click is present one time and impression is present two times, correct? From this table, you can calculate the values. So what it will do when you divide 1 by 2, you get 0.5 and it will multiply it by 100, where you get 50%. Similarly, for 2, 3, 4, the values are 1 upon 1 into 100, which will be nothing but 100%. Okay, this is the simple logic that, ha that has been applied. Okay, so I hope you've understood this.
If you have any doubts regarding this, you can put it down in the comment section. Also, if uh, you have another query for solving this question, then also you can put it down. So this is the sample output that we have achieved. Okay, so coming back to the quiz question, how can we view all the triggers currently in the database? So the answer for this is the show command. Okay, show triggers is used for viewing all the triggers. So I hope you, you like this video. If you like it, do share it with your friends. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you. Thank <music> you.